some somehow like connection mm-hmm. with other people would be just like start to teach yourself to smile a little bit that skill and not right. just like telling yourself the story that I'm the introvert so I don't have to do anything about this yeah minimizing the interruptions and stuff like that so what I'm talking about here is like it's the skill of time management everybody and welcome to the test guru tv the dude sitting next to me he's the ultimate champion of testing jani tuna haikala hello and here next to me is antti niittuvita a tireless testing advocate a trainer a public speaker and an author and this is a weekly show about hardcore questions and answers in the domain of testing and quality assurance welcome to the show welcome to the show Did we even get her better than? I think it was that? better. Yeah, it was better. Yeah. <laughs> hey, nice. So the question of the day is: the question of the day is, um, how can I improve my ways working as a tester and an employee? Wow. How can I improve my ways of working as a tester and an employee? Mm-hmm. Cool. So if you're employed as a tester, then that would be the same answer for both, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I think those go hand in hand. Yeah, but then there's maybe maybe there's some aspects to the question. I don't know, but maybe there's something that that also you could improve as a tester and something you could improve as an employee. Yeah, and I, I would maybe. add like as know. a colleague, you know. Yeah, yeah. Because like there are different skills, you know, acting mm-hmm. as a colleague and mm-hmm. person, human being, and then as the one who's like doing the work. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So I mean, yeah, probably, yeah. Any aspect that you improve yourself as a tester, you're also improving yourself as an employee. But yeah, and maybe true. there's some things to add to that yeah. as an employee, which might not be testing related. Uh, maybe, I, I, that's maybe. actually true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So let's let's approach it that way. Um, so um, this leads me to think about like somehow the pain points of like mm-hmm. like my past. You know how. What are the things that I have suffered for yes. as a tester yeah, yeah. and an an employee? Yeah, I can maybe come up with a couple of things <laughs> myself. <laughs> yeah, myself as well. But you go ahead. Yeah. Um. And and then like think about like what are the cures or somehow things to address mm-hmm. those pains. Mm-hmm. Um. So like one big thing is like always that has been like me as as the em- employee and uh, and the tester has been like my this this sense that i have been like somehow cornered and and overwhelmed yeah. with work yeah um always working against deadline and already starting too late um never getting enough like background information for mm-hmm. work mm-hmm. um and, and and somehow feeling like that that i'm the one who's like messing up the things so being like in a sense yeah. cornered yeah. as yeah. part of the organization and then, then there's maybe also Or you know, once you have been working for a longer time, there's this uh, boredom type of thing. Yeah, and that that uh, yeah, well. yeah, yeah. And so you get bored of re- doing the repet- re- repetitive. Yeah, re- repetitive work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. So, so yeah, those are like like yeah. I admit, those yeah. are like yeah. very personal pains that I've suffered as a tester a mm-hmm. lot. Um, And then to add to the the stack of pain, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. um, then then the another topic would be that that I've like oftentimes, especially when I was like early in my career, mm-hmm. um, when I was doing a lot of testing and serving different clients, I I felt this like in a sense this like that that I in a sense that I don't have like enough like I'm not sure if respect is the right word, but like. I suffered for like this feeling of uselessness mm-hmm. because nobody ever listens to me yeah, and yeah. you know nobody never like really finds value in testing mm-hmm. so, so I'm not sure if respect is the right word to use here but, yeah yeah but well, I, at least I understand what you yeah, mean by so, that. yeah so I, yeah. I've always felt like the the that do that messes things up so you can just like go work and play your stuff there and just don't like don't bother the big boys so mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when i'm trying to say something it's like yeah yeah that's the testing stuff so we'll deal with that later if we have time and stuff like that so right yeah so that, that's yeah. one of the pain points in yeah my past. yeah true true then i was also thinking about well i don't know what type of situation the person who has been who, who has sent this question to us mm-hmm. what type of situation that person yeah. is in but 
like I also started to think about like uh, maybe maybe I could say the typical tester yeah from my career for for example so, like what's the stereotype archetype of a tester yeah 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 and it, it's quite often and, and, and I think it's related to those pain points that yeah you just described you know getting to sort of the, in in a mode where you just run the test cases and report the box mm-hmm. and that's it so you just like just wrap up the, the day process. and yeah, yeah 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 and maybe you don't I don't know if you can say care about, about in, in, in lack of better word, yeah. Stop really caring. Yeah. So you like resign from like mental. Yeah. From yeah. Head, like yeah. yeah, I just work my hours and then. I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, I can relate a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, and and one of the things that like 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 there was a point in my career um, uh, when when I was like a tester. Um, just like in, in this like large scale global project that like, was delivering like one media platform for radio stations. Yeah. And uh, and there was like this this certain sense that I knew that something wasn't right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so so I, 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 I was like really willing and able to complain and I I saw the points that were not really performing in terms of right. testing. Yeah. Or we were like wasting time and, and like working in dumb ways Mm -hmm. Um, but I didn't know how the thing would have been when it was better so I I, I didn't have the ability to like see and to know how to do it in a smarter way so that was the thing that I I, I saw the problems and I was able to communicate and I was someone who was whining all the time Mm -hmm. (laughs) but but I had had zero suggestions on how to make it better so that was the thing that like I suffered for a lot and maybe that's one thing that contributed my to my sense of of lacking the respect you know Mm -hmm. and being in a sense cornered because I didn't have in me the skill to elaborate what I knew was smart to do right right so that that's one of the root causes actually now that I'm I'm thinking about it. Now that's actually a good point and that sort of raises the next question. What could you do about it? If yeah. you sort of notice yourself in that type of situation, what could you do yeah. about it? Yeah. So um <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's actually something that, that I just did with you yesterday. Mm-hmm. Or was it on Friday, I'm not sure. But anyways, um so like picking up a blank piece of paper yet again with me right and doing an yeah. exercise where you just like write down obstacles and problems like huge list of all the obstacles mm-hmm. and problems that you can come up with yeah and then when you look at the list item by item just like split your page for example in half mm-hmm. and then on the other side of the page you right. start to write yeah. that problem but try to say when you write it try to say it as a solution mm-hmm. so maybe there is a problem um, we don't have enough like 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 w- the problem would be like we don't have enough resources mm-hmm. okay so the problem uh, problem uh, like like le- uh, like somehow turned as a solution so that needs a lot of thinking right we don't yeah. have enough resources yeah. to do testing so so in terms of of, of this being a solution um we have not found yet the way to ask for more resources mm-hmm. and uh and and this is this is the thing we need to figure out the way to ask for more resources in a way that we would really get it right we need to figure out the way to find out what are the most impactful results that we create mm-hmm. and that would be actually the same thing the problem uh, like figured out as a solution and then yeah. that would like empower you to actually start solving it. so so testers especially early in the career usually tend to be on the problem side of it and we need to learn continuously to find the solution side of it so that would be one right. thing to like True. like yeah. start to working on yeah i would say yeah and that has like really helped me a lot during my career like especially later on because like i'm someone someone who always sees problems yeah. you know and I always when i like just like mention the problems out loud i just like try to catch myself like yeah how could i make this a solution or an idea to like an opportunity you know so mm-hmm. you can like frame mm-hmm. the problems always as yeah. opportunities yeah yeah, yeah. Or, like solutions. right yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, that that's a really really, really good point and to some, somewhere to start uh for me maybe maybe I've also thought about it a little in in terms of of the actual testing skills yeah and maybe one thing when in a situation where you which you just described and what you might want to do um maybe there's for, for a seasoned testing expert there's like this 
sort of thought that that uh, I've seen it all. I, I mm-hmm. know know it pretty well, and probably in a sense you do. But sort of understanding and admitting that the testing is actually a really wide spectrum of mm-hmm. different types of testing. Yeah, like there's really people who can do exploratory testing, API testing, automation, mm. performance testing, security testing, and so yeah. on. Yeah. So sort of understanding that whole spectrum of testing, then maybe finding out what, what can you do yourself, mm, what can you maybe learn. Yeah, yeah. And then also understanding what are the things that I cannot do and cannot really. Yeah. Or don't find myself inspired to do. Yeah, yeah. That could be also the yeah. case, and sort of making that also visible or yeah. communicating that. Yeah. So the, I, these these are the areas we need to do. That's also. Awesome. But we need help for for this. Yeah. So so yeah. Um. So so one of the ways like to approach this, and this is part of the thing that that like seeing how testing should like from going from the problems into seeing how mm-hmm. it should be done, mm-hmm. communicating it to right. others. So yeah. it's like this uh, this villa metaphor, mm-hmm. you know, this house mm-hmm. metaphor. Testing is a villa. You yeah. Know, it's a huge house. Yeah. That has lots of rooms, and yeah. there you have a room of API automation. There you have a room of performance testing. You have a room of uh, you know like like exploring and bug hunting of the UI. You have a right. room of of whatever unit testing, mm-hmm. for example. Mm-hmm. So you have a lot of rooms in your villa. And and there is only so many rooms that you can keep tidied. Up. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, you can right. you can like keep in control and you can like actually like own. And then you need to figure out ways how can we deal with certain rooms or do we just like ignore them because you can just like leave them be. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that needs to be a de- educated decision. Mm-hmm. So always thinking about in terms of this like villa metaphor and what's right. in the villa of testing, and then just like addressing each room and that's one of the parts how you can actually a- approach testing strategy of your company and your team so this is our strategy we have mm-hmm. addressed performance testing won't do <laughs> that yeah. automation yeah. yeah we're starting the unit testing with the developers address right yeah. exploratory testing so you do exploratory testing and i do for each release for three days that's our strategy mm-hmm. then for each room you go and i think about how can we approach this and do we have resources to do yeah, that? Yeah. And that would like give you the tools to explain this to others. And 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 then um, when you start to figuring out how you explain this to others, yeah. how it should be done, yeah. then they start to think, yeah, this dude or this lady, they really got this. So they know their exactly. way around this. Yeah, and that's how yeah. the respect starts growing and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. So having the big picture and having the ability to explain it to others, yeah. that's one of the biggest leaps that you can take in your career as tester. Yeah, right? agreed. Yeah, definitely. And that actually brings us to, once you understand the whole, yeah. uh, that brings us, since you sort of need to communicate yeah. the situation, tell it to others, that brings us to the soft skills. Yeah. And those are also, the, to think about those skills, what what can you actually do? Not yeah. be just that guy who runs the test cases and yeah. reports the box, but exactly. maybe follows up on the reported box. And, uh, That's true. Uh, tries to explain to the developers or the managers yeah. or whoever why why those bugs are important why should we fix them uh, yeah and and so on so 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 communication teamwork cooperation type of things yeah that's so be really valuable when you talk about improving yourself yeah so like having the clarity mm-hmm. of what all is the yeah. thing and what's yeah. the thing that I can develop myself in and what should be ignored and what should someone else do mm-hmm. and how to resource that's the one thing and then the ability like having the clarity in the thought you know in your mind yeah. and then having the ability to engage others mm-hmm. so that's that's about the teamwork so I, I always say that testing is an influencer profession whether you want right. it or not it testing is, is an influencer yeah. profession yeah. because Testers have no control over the source code, deadlines, budgets, resources, whatever. Mm-hmm. Have no control over the things that create the quality. Only thing that testers can control is their ability to influence others. Yeah. So that's why I say that testing is always like improving things through other people. And that's why testing is an influencer profession. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and, and and one of the core skills that, that a lot of testers, they just ignore because like, I'm not just that kind of a person, is their skill of influence. They, if you want to be more as a tester and an employee, you need to learn influence. Yeah, that's yep. like end of the day skills. Mm-hmm. Like like, and and how to go about learning the skills of influence? That's the big question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's a good, good question. <laughs> so um, start with Dave Garnegie is like how to, what, what's, the, what's the book like? How to mm, win friends. Win friends and, yeah. Yeah, 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 something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dale Carnegie, go Google it, Dale Carnegie. Um, yeah, uh, but, but yeah, start with that and start to figure out how, what are the ways that I could learn influence. And, and sometimes you may think that I'm an introvert. So mm -hmm. um, that's the thing for me too. I'm an introvert as well, even though Likewise. you may not like, uh, like have guessed, but but introverts can learn to influence skills. They can learn to social mm -hmm. skills. But the introversy is about how you recharge. You will recharge in nature when you're yeah, alone and yeah. meditating there. Mm -hmm. That's the same for me. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I'm able because I've taught myself to like talk to people and and, and like influence others. Yeah. So so I use my energy there, and then I need to recharge somewhere else. So it's 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 a matter of of, of developing that skill and not right. just like telling yourself the story that I'm the introvert, so I don't have to do anything about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that that would be one. So like admitting yourself that the fact that that if you want the biggest leap in your career, that I I think one of those things you could do is mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah, and having trained the testers, journey. that's also one yeah. of the things that creates maybe more the most yeah. friction. Yeah. People sort of resist exactly uh, that that change. They don't really want to. If, if, if you try to talk to them about uh, about uh, presentation skills or communication exactly. skills yeah. or yeah. things like that, which are really valuable for a tester. Yeah. Well, then, one, like, one of the ways that I actually can like, I'm sorry, it's just like, yeah, no you. <laughs> That's what I always do. But well, one of the things that like, a simple things, like simple things to learn, like influence some somehow like connection mm -hmm. with other people would be just like start to teach yourself to smile a little bit, you know, yeah. every yeah. day go in front of a mirror and try to smile at yourself. Mm -hmm. it's, it's surprisingly yeah, hard yeah. in the beginning. Uh, like just smiling and nodding, you know, <laughs> to other people. <laughs> just like smile and yeah, nod. Yeah. Just, if you're watching a video about this, start smiling and nodding to the video here. That would be awesome exercise, just to begin. And yeah. That's how you can start your journey, by doing a little something and then you know you're on your way. You could be learning mm -hmm. something more, mm -hmm. but just mm -hmm. like, build this new ability by exercising that muscle. Yeah, exactly. There are small things that you can do. And then that actually helps you bring visibility to testing it yeah. overall. Yeah. And which then, then helps in, in sort of gaining that respect or yeah. being valued. Valued as a professional yeah. and finding yeah. that respect yeah. that you yeah. deserve. Uh, I was craving for the respect and I, I was always complaining about the respect and, and, and it was actually that detour of like figuring out how to smile and nod and you know, <laughs> figuring out what influence is about that I I somehow noticed that yeah, the respect has started to grow. Mm -hmm. It was a byproduct of going somewhere else and trying to learn something yeah. else. Right. And that that's that's actually super fun because like we oftentimes we address the direct pains that we see mm -hmm. but don't like go finding the root causes, you know, the analogy in yeah. as well. Yeah. You find the bugs, but you never find the root causes that mm -hmm. produce the bugs. Right. So that's the same thing, like going yeah. upstream and trying to find what are the root like causes for certain things. True. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's been quite a long answer. I, it, I has. it has. It um, has. But I, I feel like there is one thing like to address at least more that I have yeah. on my mind. Go ahead. Or do you have something that you will like uh, to up about the previous let's, topic? Let's hear what you're yeah. about to say. Because, because like the last thing is like like always that I had the feeling of being like cornered and overwhelmed. And and there is always more books in the world that you can like comfortably, 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 comfortably read. Yeah. Comfortably, comfortably read. So um, and, and there's always more work on your action point list than you actually can achieve. So mm -hmm. so there's always more. So you you gotta be like choosy about what you do. And and that's that's part of like the ability to like prioritize and arrange your work mm -hmm. and protect your schedule. So learning to like gently and politely say no. I cannot do that today. If someone sends you a message, can you test quickly this and stuff like that? So minimizing the interruptions and stuff like that. So what I'm talking about here is like it's the skill of time management, the core skills of productivity for yeah. any professional. Yeah. So right. so. To, to just to ability to like see like like have this vision have this clarity of what testing is then have the ability to influence people and you know collab mm -hmm. and then the ability to like to manage your time in a way that you can keep your peace of mind because no one else will manage your time for you and if they get to do that they will just like shove your eyes and ears full of activities yeah. and action yeah. points 
that's important to them and maybe not to you. So you need to learn how to guard your time. Right. Yeah. Wow. Three things. <laughs> Did you have something else? No, You're no, like, no. I see a lot of notes there. Yeah, I think we've covered those pretty yeah. well. Yeah, so um, I, I feel like, like maybe we have answered the question. I feel like it. Yeah. 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 How do you feel like? Hey, should we like, we sometimes we did the rock, paper, scissors game uh, for the for the concluding words of an episode. Would you be, be prepared for that kind no, of No, not, not, to, today. not today. Not today. <laughs> okay, like let's give it a fist pop and then I will, I will do the honors. Yeah. Yeah! So I think that's it. We've uh, covered some of the aspects of uh, creating value as a tester and an employer, you know, employee, you know. <laughs> and if you feel like there is some things that you want to ask about this episode or you want to bring up your thoughts, please don't hesitate to use the comments field or to chat with your video. And obviously, please, when you see this video on YouTube or where whatever your platform is, please don't hesitate to hammer the like button, subscribe to the channel, and please, please, please share the video with someone else who may benefit from this. And of course, if you have not done this before, prove that guru slash insiders. That way you get to uh, join our live stream sessions, not only on the studio, but our live webinars of, of important topics of testing. And also you will get to enjoy new episode of Test Guru TV uh, before everybody else does in the world, in the public social media. So prove that guru slash insiders, get yourself there and then you can become an insider too. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Thank you!